Brunettes make up nearly a fifth of the population, but people with brown hair don't always have it easy. From developing moles to certain cancer risks, here's why being brunette makes you more susceptible to health issues. What do stars like Zendaya, Eva Mendes, and Anne Hathaway have in common? Aside from lighting up the silver screen with powerhouse performances, they're all natural brunettes. With nearly 20% of the population possessing brown hair, the actresses are in good company. The melanin in your hair is what influences its natural color. Those with dark hair possess a specific type of melanin known as eumelanin. The greater the amount of eumelanin in your hair, the more likely you are to have black hair. Conversely, people with blonde hair have minimal amounts of eumelanin. This leaves brunettes falling somewhere in the middle, which is what gives them either their lighter or darker shade of brown hair. Whether your hair is black, blonde, red, brown, or anywhere in between, there are pros and cons to each and every hue including those related to your health. Here are a few potential cons you might be surprised to learn are associated with being brunette. For one, you may be more prone to moles. It has long been thought that people whose skin or hair contains less melanin are more likely to be affected by the sun's UV rays. But that doesn't mean only blondes or people with red hair may leave the beach with a nasty sunburn. In addition to freckles and age spots, moles can also develop as a result of sun exposure. Researchers from a 2010 study published in the Journal of the American Academy of Dermatology set out to see if hair color factored into sun sensitivity and the development of moles in young kids. The study team examined more than 650 non-Hispanic white children in Colorado and found that 9-year-old kids with dark hair who experienced sunburn followed by a mild tan developed more moles than kids with light hair with the same degree of sun sensitivity. While they are the product of skin cell overgrowth, Moles are most often not a sign of cancer, reports Medline Plus. However, the researchers determined that people with dark hair may potentially be at greater risk for melanoma than previously thought. Another health drawback of being brunette is you may start going gray a little earlier than your blonde friends. Oh my god, is that a gray hair? It should be noted that going gray is a beautiful and natural part of aging, and some people hardly consider it a drawback. However, others may prefer to preserve the color in their hair for as long as possible. For those with blonde hair, this preservation may extend until roughly the age of 35, according to survey research conducted by hair care expert Charles Worthington. For brunettes, however, British female participants reported their first silver hair making its debut at the average age of 32, three years earlier than blonde participants. Women with brown hair may have lucked out over those with red hair, however, who reported going gray starting at around age 30. While survey data certainly has its place in the world of research, such results should be taken with a grain of salt, as the outcomes are largely anecdotal. Rather, a number of different factors can influence at what age you begin to go gray, including race, gender, vitamin deficiencies, or the presence of certain health conditions, explains Harvard Health Publishing. While the research isn't definitive, stress may also factor into graying. More often than not, though, the rate at which you gray is dictated by your genetics. If you've ever dyed your hair brown, you may also be at risk for certain cancers. The American Cancer Society reports that some studies indicate the use of hair dye, particularly dark colors, may increase one's risk for some non-Hodgkin lymphomas. Non-Hodgkin lymphoma targets the body's lymph nodes, which depending on what stage the disease is in, may include those located in the upper and or lower body. This same link has also been seen in association with the use of hair dye prior to 1980. Experts state this is likely due to the use of cancer-related chemical ingredients and dye products that have since been removed over time. If you're now feeling a little dismayed about being a brunette, know that your gorgeous brown mane also brings with it many health benefits too. For one, melanin-rich hair may be better protected against the elements, helping to preserve its vitality. Not only that, but Self reports that people with blonde hair actually shed the most in comparison to those with alternate hair colors. Additionally, being brunette may lower your risk for Parkinson's disease. Researchers from a 2010 study published in the scientific journal Annals of Neurology found that people with dark hair had the least amount of risk for Parkinson's disease compared to people with lighter hair. Out of four groups, people with black hair were the least susceptible, followed by individuals with brown hair. Individuals with blonde hair were found to be the second most prone group to Parkinson's disease, with red-haired people at the greatest risk.